Okay, so we're going to take a look at running C code inside of Code Envy. So this is a, a this is an online IDE, and what they provide here is they provide the new version of Eclipse online, but it's a hosted Eclipse. Okay, so if you're familiar with that, if not, don't worry about it. It's just a great place to run your code um, in the cloud. So the first thing we're going to do is go to Get Started and then create account or log in if you already have one. I suggest logging in with your Google account. It's really easy. When you log in, you're going to get to the dashboard right here. And the first thing we have to do is to go ahead and create a workspace. So we create workspace. And for, for programming in C, what we're going to want to do is that uh, we're going to want to uh, select one of the stacks here. So notice that one of the stacks here is C++. And we're looking for this GCC to have GCC already installed. We could just go and install this stuff, but it's just a lot easier to, uh, to get the pre-made stack. So. Okay, so we click on C++, and we're going to go ahead and name it, and we're going to call it, uh, call it C Bootcamp. Okay, and then create. Okay, so when we click create, it creates the workspace and then launches us into the editor. You'll notice that it takes a couple of minutes uh, to install. Uh, well, or not install, but to get, to get up and running. You'll notice that down at the bottom here, we have what is essentially the terminal output from uh, the virtual machine. Okay, so it's running right there. Finally, the workspace is running, and then the next thing we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and create a project, okay? The type of project we're gonna create is a C project. Yeah, we're gonna call it C, C project and create. And notice that it goes ahead and gives us this nice and convenient hello.c right here. Okay. Um, all right. So the next thing we're going to do is go ahead and create our own C file. So we're going to uh, right click in this empty space. Oops. Sorry, we're not going to right click in the empty space. We're going to go to project, new and then to uh, new C file, okay? And this one we're gonna call rocks because that matches our, uh, our uh, textbook we're using. Okay, and notice that they go ahead and they, in the rock C, once we created it, it opens right up and we have this include standard io.h, int main with a void parameter, and then the printf hello world, okay? The first thing we're going to do here is we're just going to change this because this is what uh, our textbook says, right? Our first file here we're doing, um, say C rocks for puts, so put C rocks, and then we're going to we're going to return zero. Okay, so that's our file, and we're just going to go ahead and save it. And now we're going to go ahead and compile it. So notice that in you know unlike a regular um, you know Linux command line where you're already in the terminal or a Linux desktop where you have a desktop, right? And here our terminal resides down at the bottom. So this kind of virtual terminal that they give in the IDE. So, but notice that we're inside. So we're, we're a user. We're on the, the virtual machine with this name, this kind of random string of numbers and letters. And then we're in the directory forward slash product projects. Okay. So if I go ahead and I do GCC, um, rocks.c, right, because we want to compile with GCC, right, we're compiling the, the, the file rocks.c, then our output is going to be rocks. And I go ahead and click enter. Okay, and notice it gives me an error that there's no such file name. So I'm going to go ahead and type ls for list. And notice that we kind of obviously have this C project folder here. Uh, so we're basically in this parent directory of our project. So we're going to go uh, cd and then we go C project to get inside the folder. And I clearly misspelled there. Okay, and then I'm gonna go ahead and list again. And notice now we have our rocks.c. So I click the up arrow to get back, you know, my command to scroll through my command history. And we're gonna go ahead and compile again. Success, you know, it doesn't give anything, you know, give any response to success. Notice that my rocks file has been made, my executable. Then I go forward slash, whoop, back in the terminal, forward or period slash, and then I'm gonna um, go ahead and execute rocks. Okay, and I get my puts right, my which matches my puts command right here, C rocks. Okay, 
Uh, I hope that helps. So that is how to get into Code Envy and uh, create a C project, edit the C file, and then compile it and run it all inside the editor. Uh, best of luck.